Welcome back to the Empowered Woman Badass and Unfiltered Podcast. Your host, Coach Liv here. If you're new here, thank you for listening in. I am a transformational success coach, podcast host of this awesome podcast, and motivational speaker, and now the new co-owner of the new Christian motivation brand, Relentless Glory. And today I'm here to talk to you about why prep work is everything and why it's so important, especially if you're a female entrepreneur or content creator. How you prepare to do things helps you show up better. You know, just for instance, when you're, I don't know if you ever did dance or played an interest instrument or anything when you were younger, but how you practiced, if you practiced full out or if you did it half ass. That's how you performed. How you do anything is how you do everything. And that carries over into your business and into how you create your content as well, if that's if that's what you do. And I've been noticing this over and over again, and I have to speak on it. There are so many female entrepreneurs that I'm account encountering that have scheduling issues in their life. And this is honestly, this is what I coach people with. I help them get their life organized. So they're not running around with a chicken, like their head cut off and unorganized in that aspect. Because if you're unorganized in the beginning and you never fix that, when you start to get more business, you're not going to be successful. You're going to, that is self-sabotage at its finest, not having your stuff in order. And I'm not saying this to be like mean or aggressive. I'm just, I'm just being real with you. I have met with so many professionals on this podcast and I take their time seriously and they take my time seriously. If you are operating your business and you do not take people's time seriously, they will not respect you the same. They will not take your time seriously. And they, they are more likely to have a bad taste in their mouth about you which is going to hurt you more in the end. You've got to think about your things on a long, long-term basis. So this is why the prep work is so important. You know, let's say you're talking to somebody and you knew that you were going to be talking to this person and you've done absolutely no research on this person. That will show, that will absolutely show. And if you're speaking to somebody that is a very high level person, Um, maybe it's a client that, you know, you want to bring on, or maybe, you know, it's somebody that you want to collaborate with, or, you know, an opportunity to to learn from somebody else and you don't do any background research on them, then it's, then that says more about you than it does about them. If they have to tell themselves like who you, they are to you when you like sought them out, that that's going to make you look bad. Um, that's, and, and that goes into the prep work. It's so, so important to take your time and due diligence. We live in a culture where everything is so transactional because of social media, but we forget that there are people on the other side of the screen. There are people that are really active and working just like you. And I think that we've taken that, that humanity out of these things. And I'm speaking specifically to female entrepreneurs and content creators. If that's not, if you don't relate with that, I'm sorry, (laughs) I'm sorry. (laughs) Um, But this is specifically that, that type of prep work. So ways to properly prepare. Um, I'm going to just give you a few tips um, that have really, really helped me. First it's calendar blocking and setting aside the amount of time that it's going to take for you to do a task. And it doesn't necessarily, you don't have to necessarily stick to that time specifically if you're not mean, if you're not meeting with another person, but still allocate for the amount of time that it's going to take you to complete that project. So you're not overbooking yourself, start planning your weeks in advance on Sunday nights, start planning your months in advance, the week before the month starts and, and start planning out your quarters, start planning out your years. And I'm saying this as it's a timeline. Now, if you need help doing this, this is exactly what I do. Um, and you can book a complimentary strategy session with me so I can go over in detail ways to help make your life less stressful. 
and not um, seem like you're running around like a chicken with your head cut off, you know, seem like you're not um, having your life run you rather than you, like having your day run you rather than you run your day, because we absolutely have the control to do that. We absolutely have the control to also, you know, delegate tasks. We do not have to do everything that we have on our plates, but in order to know what task you have to delegate, you need to prepare for that. You need to prepare like, okay, you know what? I'm going to have this, this person over here doing this, this person over here doing this. Maybe I have to pick up my child at this time. And I have, I need to people that operate at a high level plan. They use their calendars. They, they take their life, their time extremely seriously. And, um, understanding that we are a human and we're not all, we're not always going to work like machines. And honestly, like this is where the prep work comes in when it comes to using your menstrual cycle to your benefit. And I I really, (laughs) I'm just bringing this up now because this also goes into planning. If you're a female entrepreneur and you have a menstrual cycle, keeping that in mind because you have four different hormones that you hormone stages that you go out through during your full cycle. I'm talking about, I'm not just talking about the bleed. I'm talking about the full 28 days. That's just the average. Um, Keeping your hormones in mind, preparing for yourself to not be in the best mood. So you don't overwork your schedule, overbook yourself. That will help you out so much you'll have a lot more peace in your life simply by just keeping yourself in mind and your, your schedule and your life in mind. And I know that things do not always go as planned, but when you got to outline, I tell you, it comes out a lot better than if you just don't plan anything at all. So with all of that being said, I want you to remember that prep work is everything. Start planning your days, weeks, months, quarters, and year in advance. If you meet with people, get to know who they are before you meet with them. Do your research. The fact that I have dealt with so many people recently that do not have their stuff together is the reason I'm even bringing that up because it's honestly like, and it hurts me because I want people to succeed. I'm a woman that genuinely supports other women. So when I see that they're doing something wrong and they could be operating at a such higher level because they're so qualified and they're so talented, but they're just missing out and, and they just need to tweak a few things. It's really upsetting. So I had, I had to say something. I absolutely had to. Um, But with all of that in mind, again, if you, if you need, if you are hearing this and you know what? If you're one of those women and you're hearing this, that, that constantly misses appointments, you're constantly, you know, not having it together. I want you to think about the amount of money that you're leaving on the table by missing appointments and being, and not being organized. I want you to think about how much it's costing you, how much time, how much is your time worth? How much it's costing you to have to postpone and reschedule and do all of those things. I understand once or twice, but if you do it multiple times, that says that that's not going to help you at all. And I started my business to help women. I I started my business to help the world be a better place because I know by lifting up women, the world will be a better place. I, I work with high level women that do a lot of different things and have a lot of things going on. And it just they're overworked. They get hella confused and just all over the place. And some of them have, you know, they, they battle with a lot of time management. I understand that everybody is not, you know, proficient in that that's time management is one of the big pillars that I work on as well as productivity and actually enjoying the success journey, but the prep work, all of that is seriously everything. So with all of that being said, go out and be a badass.